Welcome to my AID tutorial 20.2. In this tutorial, I will show you how to add back button feature in your WebView app. In 20.1, we have already learned how to add progress bar in app. Now, create your app. I'll name it web view two point two point one. Mm. Let's name it web view three and give me a package name. Click on create. First of all, change the layout to frame layout. And then give it ID. Change the text view to web view. Give it also an ID. Now add progress bar. Give it also ID. Change the layout. Gravity, I'll put it in the center. Center. Change this to match parent web view. Let's see. Now we have successfully designed in XML. Now go to main Android XML, manifest XML, and add the permission to inter use internet access internet access permission usage dash permission android is to name equals to android dot permission dot Internet Now we have added permission to our app then go to Java And create private Layout private Identify it as private frame layout we have given id fl 
again. Similarly, now set find view by ID. Set web view. Dot ID. Dot web. PB equals to progress bracket dot uh, id dot pv frame layout Now, start web setting. Web settings. Equals to web dot get settings. Then Web settings dot set JavaScript enabled equals to true. We have enabled Java, then web dot load URL. At the URL of your site uh, as previous I'll add my blog then close the packet and semicolon then again web dot set web view client this will launch your site in your own app not in default browser new web view client Now we remove the progress bar when the, uh, your website will be loaded. To do this, type at the red override public void on page finished. Then type web view, view, it's 
that is then string url then close the bracket and start curly bracket to have fl dot remove view pre b this will remove pb from from frame layout now we will add back button feature in our site app at the rate override public void on back pressed okay it automatically generate then go here and type if bracket web dot can go back again start curly bracket and we will define that if web can go back it will go back so type web dot go back If can't go back, else then start a curly bracket. Else super on back pressed. That means it will exit your app. Now let's build it and check whether it works or not. Click here. We have access to permission, but it permission is not working. Where is my permission? Oh, we forgot to save the permission. Let's add again usage that is permission android is to name equals to android permission that internet Now click on view layer app. Hmm. My web app will take full internet access permission. Click on install. Click on open. Now here is progress bar. After loading your web page, it will 
बीकॉन वेट इट कॉन यस प्रोग्रेस बे आर हैज बीन कॉन एंड टू चेक माई गो बैक फीचर आई लो ओपन टू थ्री पेज ऑफ माई ऐप वेब पेज now i will press back button let's see it goes back again it goes back again it goes back again it goes back now it can't go back so it will exit my app let's click on back button Yes, it exit my app. This work perfectly fine. Thanks for watching.